Hey folks, welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Skyrim, where I left off. I was about to climb the 7,000 steps to High Rothka, but my horse died by wolves, so I had to do this again and hope that this time my horse will still will survive the 7,000 steps. And so I have to protect them from the wolves that will attack us. So I have to be careful. Let's see, where are the wolves? Uh, I don't see it now, but. In the last video they were there. Yeah, there he is. There he is. There's one. Come on, die fans. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. My horse is still alive. Alright. Very well. Quick save. Just in case, you never know, right? You never know what happens next. I should actually actually uh, quick save more often. Oh! Come on, die, man! Here we go. Don't shoot there! Come on, you will die. You will die any second. Haha. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Come here. Give me that. And my horse is still alive. Quick save. Man, I love the quick save. Just one single button. And you're good for the rest of the day. Well, if you do it right, of course. Sometimes if you play um, quick save too late... You keep dying and there's no turning back then. Let's read, uh, let's read this. And blood 3. The fl flat fling spirits of men were strong in old times. Unaffair the war with dragons and their voices. But the dragon only shouted them down and broke their hearts. Alright. So story time. I would land in the old days. All right, we keep going up and down. Let's see how far am, far am I. Oh. Very low, I think. Not that far. Ahead. Oh, look at that! A uh, an homeless person. Let's talk, man. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Roskar. I did. I, I already slaughtered two. Did you hear the, the grey birds call Dovakin? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Um, who are you? Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Wow, you don't talk... You don't talk much, do you? Let's see, what are you doing? Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. <laughs> Alright, good. I Enjoy your stay. Um... Emblem 4. Cain called on... Parfonax, who pitied men, together they fought men to use the voice. The dragon war raged, dragon against tongues. Alright. I don't know if, if this makes sense, but I don't know if I should read more of them. I don't care actually. I just want to meet the Greybeards and learn more about the voice and the shouts. 
and become more powerful than ever. Um, there is a frost troll nearby, I think. Where was that? Oh, there he is! There he is! Go quick! Go away! Go away! And quick save! Quick save! All right! All right! Let's take it down! Let's take it down! Don't you kill my horse! Don't you kill my horse! All right! Come on! Z! Here we go! Oh man! Oh man! You're strong! You're very strong! Jesus Christ! Lydia, help me out! Wait, where's my horse? No, is my, is my horse dead? Ah, I'm dead! Alright, come on, quick save. We can do this this time. I hope. Alright. Take it easy. Take it easy. Go. Fall back. Yeah, Lydia, come on. Come on, Lydia. Help me out. We can do this together. Let's see. Let's grab my bow. Here we go. Come on. Yeah, we can do this. Oh, snap. Don't die, Lydia. Don't die, please. I need you. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, easy. Easy. I need some potions. <laughs> potions of healing, of course. Here we go. Here we go. No, don't die. Don't die. Uh, booyah! Come on, please die! <laughs> oh, please! Please don't die! Come on, horse, kill it! Kill it! It's almost dead! Oh no, don't you run away now! Don't you run away? Are you dead? Or are you just lying here on the ground? Well, you're gonna die anyway. Here we go! Here we go! We killed it! We killed the troll! And both Lydia and my awesome horse are still alive. I'm so proud of you guys. Alright. Let's talk to the grey birds. Are we almost there yet? Near we nearly there yet? Hmm? Wow, look at this view man. Almost there, I hope. The seven Dalton steps. And look at that! The castle of the Greybeards. We made it! We made it! We did it, horse. Well done. I, Rovka, discovered. <laughs> Alright. I have to put some supplies for the, the Greybeard's um, mask, I think. Wait, what? Yeah, here we go. Supplies added. Wait. Store. Alright, here we go. 
Here we go. I brought you some food. Brought you some food. Ah, my eyes. Anyways. Hello. What's up, man? Man, you're old. A dragonborn appears. Uh huh. This moment in the turning of the age. I'm answering. Answering your summon. We will see if you truly. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. All right. <laughs> Impressive, right? Drag I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? You summoned me. Um, I'm answering your summons, Master. We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. What's my destiny? That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. Oh, great. Um, I want to find out what it means to be dragonborn. We are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You mean I'm not the only dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. Um, who are you? What is this place? We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. Uh -huh. You stand in High Hrothgar, the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. All right, I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. Thank you. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, Only one way to find out, right? The first steps towards oh, there are more graybeards. Into a thoom or a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. I am. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, a second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance. Dragon tongue. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. All right. Come and get it, bro. Add it. unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. All right. Thank you, Master. All right. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Where are they? Oh, okay. And Buya.
I did it. Well done. Thank you. There we go again. And a uh, boya. Impressive, right? Thank you. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragon Ball. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Who is Master Bori? Oh, you are Master Bori. All right, Bori. Let's go outside. Take your time. Take your time. Now we are going to learn how to dash forward very fast. In, man. Alright, come on. Bring it in. Here we go. Alright, allow me, me to equip it first. Um, shouts. Here we go. World wind. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Okay, come on. O open up, Sacker. <coughs> come on, open up. And. A b <laughs> Did I do it? Your quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. I thought it was this easy for everyone. No, indeed not. No! Beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrad. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. I will. Uh, ooh, new achievement. That's nice. Uh, why are the dragons returning? Does it have something to do with me? No doubt. The appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Um, surely there's more you can tell me. There is indeed much that we know that you do not. That does not mean that you are ready to understand it. Do not let your easy mastery of the voice tempt you into the arrogance of power. That has been the downfall of many Dragonborn before you. Okay, what does it mean to be a Dragonborn? Um, I think we have to slay dragons. Dragons have the inborn ability to learn and project their voice. Dragons also are able to absorb the power of their slain brethren. 
A few mortals are born with similar abilities, whether a gift or a curse has been a matter of debate down through the centuries. What you have already learned in a few days took even the most gifted of us years to achieve. Some believe that dragonborn are sent into the world by the gods at times of great need. We will speak more of that later, when you are ready. Okay, um... Why are you... Why are shouts in dragon language? Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, a dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. <laughs> Thank you. But I would like to s shout with an Italian language. Requiesca de pace. That means rest in peace. Um, tell me more m about the uh, grey birds. We study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Winkor. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. Who is uh, Jürgen? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice could be used solely for the glory and oh. worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Winkoller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition. And the way of the voice was born. Ah, nice story. Uh, what is the way of the voice? The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinner at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. But I don't follow your... Why help me learn the voice? The Dragonborn is an exception to all the rules. The dragon blood itself is philosophy. A of the gods. Hmm. If we accept one gift, how can we deny the other? As dragonborn, you have received the ability to shout directly from Akatosh. We therefore seek to guide you on the proper use of your gift, which transcends the restrictions which bind other mortals. All right, interesting story, but I'll go to pause it from here, and I'll be back in the next video. Thanks for watching!